Hi guys and welcome to Crafting with Lola and Oscar. Another week of black and white. So I have a lot of cards this week that I want to share with you guys. Um, all black and white, a little silver um, in there too. So I'm going to jump right into it. I don't want it to be too, too long because I just want to give you guys some ideas of um, some of the things I've made or kind of put the cards together. But um, if you haven't, go back and look at uh, last week's video, which was this card. It's kind of hard because, it, man, this, this uh, uh, glittery paper is making it hard. But if you go back and you watch uh, last week's uh, video, the last video I put up, I should say, and you'll see how I actually made this card. So I think it was so pretty, pretty, pretty. I really do like, I really do like, you see how I made the flowers as well. So check that out. I'll post that up in the corner, up in here somewhere. <laughs> you know how that goes. Uh, but let's get started with this week's projects. But let's take a look at this one. And hopefully the shiny paper won't mess us up too much. So if you remember, I used some of the um, little uh, sprigs from... Uh, the Crafters Companion Winter White collection, and I used those on that last on last week's card, and I had a few left over, as well as I had a few of the pretty uh, poinsettias that I made from last week. I had those left over, so I thought I would use th that on this on this card. What I did on this card, I'm going to kind of pull it apart because I haven't put it all together yet. Is I took an embossing folder. Oh, don't mess up, girl. Okay, there we go. I kind of y'all know how I like to tape stuff down. <laughs> Sometimes it works out. It ain't work. What the dickens? Wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait. wait. Okay, there we go. So I um, uh, took first of all an embossing folder, just a simple embossing folder that had the dots on there, dotty dotty dotty, and ran that through. And then there's some dies that are by Crafters Companion. So if you're wondering what they are, I'll try to remember to try and put them in the uh, Daisy Lace. This one is Daisy Lace. Uh, this one is Elegant Trellis, which I do love that one. I think that's very pretty. And this one's called Includes. Okay. All right. I ain't mad at you. So I used these dies to uh, put on two of the cards. Um, but I didn't want to um, necessarily focus on these little things like this. I just wanted it for a decoration. So again, I ran the embossing folder through. We're gonna go ahead and put this down. Oh Lord, how did I have this thing going? I think I had it going this way. No, no, you know what, I had it going this way. This way, and I'll go ahead and put tape on here. And I'm gonna use tape, my, I'm gonna use my little tape runner because that way stuff will stick a little bit longer, a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to do this so that you can see this is a uh, black and white card. Sometimes you just don't see a lot of black and white cards, you know. Um, you don't see that too often. Right, so I have that like that. And then, so that's really, really pretty. And then I use, now I have a number of, and actually maybe I'll go ahead and show those to you now. As we go through, I use a lot of the um, different greens I've cut out in black and white. Um, just different green Christmas greens. One says happy holidays. And so I cut some out in white. I did some stamping. Um, one says winter wishes, which we may use on some, on one of the cards. So I got a number of little things um, that I can use to decorate the cards here other than the flowers. But I did have some left. Let's see, that's about right. Yeah. Sure, about right. Yeah, it looks about right. And I'm not putting it down like real permanently. It's just kind of down there a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and stick. Oh no, that's not right. It goes down a little bit further. All right, so we have that one like that. Try and stick this bag over. I don't know what the dickens I was doing with this. Bring this up some. All right, so we have that like. That. That yeah, because I just wanted a little trim. Uh, let me see so you can see a little better that way. So just a little trim that goes across there. The word joyous, and then I had these flowers here, which again they were left over from last week. So we're gonna stick some of the some of that uh, sprucey stuff or whatever you call it. I think I'll stick that like that. Okay, and then uh, we'll put the flower here. Just really something, not really anything real special. Um, 
but sometimes black and white is just it's just really fun so I did a number of things with this um, with this uh, remember this is from the Anna Griffin black and white paper that I told you guys and I showed you again uh, if you're looking for the video on that just go to last week's video and you should um, you'll be able to see all the different video uh, different um, sheets that I had quite unfortunately the paper isn't in print anymore now here what I was gonna do is see how you have the little flowers hanging or the little petals hanging out either you can glue those all the way down where you can't see them or you can put like little beads or something there if you want um, now and then I could still you know put more sp spruce stuff on there if I wanted to maybe I'll stick that on there why not right Let's stick this up here Man, you know what? I am so mad. I think my air condition went out again. I am so over. I'm having problems with this air condition. And suddenly it doesn't, when I turn it on, it's not working again. And it is hot up in this joint. I have a fan on, fan, but I don't want to turn it on because I'm afraid it might make, make some noise. I'm going to pull that part off. Um, it may make too much noise for the video. Alright, so... Let's just stick this one maybe right in here. All right, so we have that one there. And then, if you also recall, I used, um, remember I had some uh, greetings. Now, these are the these are those um, carols, and those are the sheet uh, implants, implants, they're the sheet inserts, which are all the different traditional um, songs, and then I guess just the hymns. You know, the Christmas, they come in like a cream color and then a white. And I think you get like four sheets. So this card isn't a five by seven. So what I did was I had to cut it down a little bit. And then I was able to put this one in, which is uh, uh, God Bless You, Merry Gentlemen. Um, and you know what? This is the wrong. Well, oh, no. You know, I guess that's fine because I kind of wanted to go. That's fine. We'll just have the, the sentiment going that way. But the, I cut this down so this would fit right in here. And then later on, all I do is take another piece of black paper to cover that up. So that's an example of that card right there. So a cut and embossing folder looks like this, where you see the element, the cutting part is here, and then that is white. It's like a little cushion stuff. So if you ever get a cut and embossing folder, and you think you left your paper in, especially if it's white, don't go digging this out, because that's in there, purposely. That That's, and I can't remember what the explanation, the reason is, but, um, and I'm not going to try to like it, I don't know, I can't remember. But just don't go messing around with that, because you want to leave that in there so this is the cut and embossing folder that i use i don't have the name of it because i took all my stuff out Cha i took all my stuff out packaging and i i have it all stored somewhere but what i did was here's the this is what it looks like let me show you what it looks like cut and emboss and then i just use some gilding wax some silver gilding wax and just kind of you know it kind of looks a little funny right now but when we take this card and this is on some white pearlescent card. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and then what I did with the flower, again, this was a leftover uh, flower from last week. I took it and I put some glitter on it, some black glitter on the ends, which you probably can and cannot see. Um, I hope that's not blurred. Maybe that's better. Yeah. Yeah. And then I put some, I put a white stamen in. Stamen? Stamen. <laughs> that's stamen. Put a white stamen in there. So I'm going to take this flower... And, uh, and then I just cut the little, you know, rounded off the edges on this one. So, let's see. Now, I probably should cut this a little off a little bit, but I think I'm going to put that right. I'm trying. I'm really trying to work on getting this flower kind of in the middle of all this decoration. And I'll plop that in there. Yeah, I think that's nice. That way you can still see all the cutting part. So, we'll turn this over. 
And then we could just put a piece of tape. Um, but you don't want anything bulky. Of course, I don't have any tape. Can you believe I have no tape? I ain't got a minute. The tape that I want. Um, let's see. Well, that's okay. We'll use this tape right here. Okay. Yeah, just to tape it down so it doesn't... And I should have probably cut that, but I'm not going to, you know, it's okay, I'm not going to cut that. Then we'll go ahead and put this down like this. Okay, a little bit there. And again, this is, the card is measured at 5 by 7 That could have been up a little bit more, but that's okay, that's all right, that's all right. So we have that like this. All right, Actually, and then I have a couple. It says peace and joy and I embossed it. I don't know, you probably can't see it. I'm not going to put anything in the middle of the cards. I just want to show you some designs of the black and white card, okay? Um, so that one's that. Okay. Number four, come on down. All right, let's look at this one here, which I really love. Um, now this one is on a black card with some of that Anna Griffin black and white paper. Okay, I'll put this like this and kind of see like that. And then this is just a beautiful um, die. I don't know what, what do they call these kind of dies? It's it's a Bethlehem seam die. I just put it on some white uh, paper, which you can't really see. It's like pearlescent paper. Okay, and then I just use this as the background. I'm not going to really put, uh, it's got so much going on that I'm really not going to put a sentiment on it. Sometimes you don't need a sentiment on your card. You don't always need to have anything to say. <laughs> you know, you don't always have to say something. You put the sentiment, you can put the sentiment like on the inside. And I think this is just one of those cards where the uh, picture itself kind of speaks volumes, as they say. All right, so we'll do that like this. And get this centered on here. Hopefully I will, without making too much of a miscalculation. I can't talk. Y'all know I can't talk when doing stuff like this. I'm y'all law chair. I can't draw a line with a straight ruler. No, I can't draw a straight loop. How you say? I can't draw. See, I'm messing up already. I can't even see what I'm saying. I can't draw a line with. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. That's how you say it. Which is very true. I don't know about you. Can you draw? Uh, am I the only one that has a problem with that? So I want to try and get it as even as possible. Let's try that. All right. And then we'll put this on, uh, this mat onto the black card. Okay. And we're going to definitely have this going. Always open up your card before you start gluing <laughs> stuff down. I don't know about you, but how many times have you done a, what they call it, a New England or Australian card where you be putting stuff backwards? I do that. I don't do that too often, but every now and then, honey. All right. So we will put this. Like this, and I'm holding it up because I can't really tell because the table is black. So I want to try and get this as even as possible in here. All right, so we have that one there. Um, and I really like that. I think I really, really like that. And then again, you know, if you had a small die, you could put something up there. But if not, again, just put something, whatever you do, make your statements and put that on the inside of the card. Mm -hmm. So we have that one. Black and white. Okay. So your double sided, here's a double side, just what it says. It's a cutting die. Um, one side looks like this, and then one side looks like that, which means you can run your die through the machine and get two passes, two different two different shapes, okay? So and this one right here, this black one right here, if we even line it up, <clears throat> and again, it would go like this. Okay, so there we go. See how I put the black paper? And then that's this die here. It fits right into your thingy. And then when you turn it over, the silver, the silver one would have gone face down onto this die and then that's how you get that. And then you need special plates. These special plates, they like a little, they're, they're, I don't want to say, not I don't know what this stuff is made out of, but it's really, really, really hard. They don't, and one thing I like about these, they do not bend. Unlike these little, my other plates, but you need these 
plates when you're using a double-sided die. So how this works is whatever your regular cutting plate is, you put your cutting plate, one of the double-sided die plates, go ahead and put your paper, you put your die down with your paper. Doesn't make a difference which way you put it, because either way it's gonna cut, because remember it's double-sided. And then you put this this plate down, okay? And then you would go ahead and put your second um, cutting plate over top of that, and then you run it through your machine, okay? So I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm not just rambling. I hope y'all be like, what the Sam Blazes is this Lola talking about? So I will definitely put information in this video about the double-sided uh, plates, and I'll make sure I put information about this particular die. All right, so now that you got at least a, <clears throat> a general understanding on how this die works, and I have a slow, a slew of double-sided dies, child, because I just love them. Um, let's go ahead and put this card together. So this this one right here is uh, I've used these two dies here. I have some uh, just some black. I think it was mirror paper or matte black mirror, matte, and then I used some glitter, some silver glitter. Put it together. There we go. Right. So when you put That's one over top of the other. What happens is that you get, I'm going to put it up to the, <coughs> excuse me, I'll put it up to the camera so you can see a little bit better. So now you see how that mirror shines through. Okay, so if I were to pull this off, see that? And it just lines up so, so pretty. So let me go ahead and put this, <coughs> excuse me, together. I use some red liner tape on this because I really wanted this to stick well. That's that one with the double-sided die. And then um, there's another one. I just did another black and white, and I used, um, okay, did the same thing. But this one, I only used one side of that double-sided die, okay? So let's pull this apart, okay, so that you can see. And this one I'm going to use a ribbon. I thought, you know, it's so pretty. It's black and a silver, like a satin ribbon. And then I'm going to use this uh, stamp, this Winter Wishes. I have my satin ribbon here. And this will go in the middle. All right. And then this... If you want to now, it's up to you. I can always stick this. Now, this one I would definitely cut off. So let me go ahead and cut that off. The other one, you can stick it on the inside, but it's best just to take it off. It's best just to cut it off because if you don't want your card bulky. So it may go down, you know, be bulky. It'll be a bulky situation. So just go ahead and cut that off like that. Turn it like this, child, because you've been cut the card, Lola. All right, and then now we can go ahead and put this like this. Okay, so we'll just... <coughs> then I'm going to take the back ends off my little double-sided die. I'm at on my foam. This is foam padding I have on here. Just to give it a little lift. <coughs> Okay, we'll put that in the middle. Probably not that'd be kind of boring, so I'm gonna do it kind of like that. Alright, so we have that one that I kind of messed up like that. We have it. And then you know, again, you put whatever you want in the middle. We're not putting anything in the middle, we're just doing some designs. So those are the cards I wanted to show you. And then You can actually, I did some beautiful stationery, and I did this a little while ago. 
And um, so I just wanted to show you some of the stationery. So this is all that black and white paper with just one single, one, uh, two different types of dies. So this is the envelope. I just, the spare, you know, it's very simple. It's a little, you know, you fold it up, nothing special, but put a little piece of that paper on the inside. And I made some gift cards. I made, so these are, now none of them have greetings on them yet because again, I wanted to show what I wanted to put on there. <clears throat> But this is just the paper, very, very pretty, uh, uh, edgeable dye. And then here is, is where you would put your greeting. And then if you wanted to give like a little gift card, you could stick the little gift card right down in there. So these came out quite, quite lovely. And I just wanted to go through them real quick to show you what they are, what they look like. So last but not least, let's go through the cards that I made today. So that you see again, the black and white, very simple card. You want to put your greeting on the inside, the Bethlehem. Love that. This is from the, that's the paper. And um, the, the, the die is from another collection that I had. Okay. Um, we just did that one using the double-sided die and an embossed statement with a ribbon. I really like that one. Here's one using the double-sided die with both of the dies, the silver matte and the black with gold, and one of the sentiments from Diamond Press placed on some matte paper, glitter, and then just a marble backing for the um, actual card base, which you can may, may not can see right there. So that's really pretty, like that one. <laughs> and then uh, the embossing folder and the gilding wax with a poinsettia, poinsettia flower that moves, yay! <laughs> and glitter, again, with one of the uh, embossed greetings. That's that. Did I say cut and emboss folder? I think I did, I probably did. All right, and then last but not least, uh, we have, uh, this one is a little bit more detailed, the black and white one. It's a little bit more detailed with the um, embossing folder, the poinsettias, um, from last week and then the edgeable dies. I thought these came out really, really lovely. And then this one also has the sentiment inside, right? Okay, so that's the, that one there. And here is it, the same thing, just a journal idea, giving you some ideas. Here it is in black and white as well, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has um, been a blessing to you and that you were able to uh, get something out of it, some ideas for doing some for doing some um, cards this year for for the holidays. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the next couple of videos, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. I'm not too sure, but I tell you what, just keep watching. Thank you so much. Bye bye.